Hey, it's Pharaoh, and I'm back, and I want to thank all the new people that have been blowing up my videos since I've been gone, as well as all the new subscribers. I really appreciate the support, and I also love conversating with all the people that have commented on all the videos, so if you have any questions or anything, just drop it in the comment section because I read all of them. When I was first originally writing the script, I only had 48 subscribers, and I was hoping to push for 50, but you guys killed that. Oh my god! Oh my god! And right now, we're sitting at 58. So our new goal to hit is 100, then 1,000, then 10,000, and eventually 100,000 and beyond. So that means we gotta do what we gotta do. We gotta get your grandparents subbed, we gotta get your younger sibling subbed, we gotta get your parents subbed, we gotta get your teacher subbed, and maybe even your dog. <laughs> nah, let me stop though. But uh, now that I'm back on schedule, I'll be dropping videos weekly since I'm no longer super busy and I have time to focus on videos more without super stressing. And yes, I will also continue making shadow house videos for those people that might have asked themselves that question or asked me. And I also have plenty of video ideas, so don't worry. Like and subscribe if you enjoy what I do. So with that, let's talk about the whole point of this video, the clothes and the outfits the anime characters wear. Because for me, and I'm sure most of you have definitely thought of how you would look wearing some of your favorite anime characters clothes. I'm sure there are some of you that actually cosplay and actually get to wear those clothes. So I want to talk about those outfits in anime that when you see them, you just think Damn! That right there is fire. So we're going to be looking at some of the most drippy anime characters of all time. And this list is in no particular order. So let me start it off with a true king. Madara Uchiha. Besides Madara being one of the most badass anime characters in Naruto, and anime in general, you know he also got the fits. When you look at my god Madara with his black and red shinobi armor, that shit right there just looks mad sick, mad intimidating. I think the thing that brings Madara's outfit together is his hair, his demeanor, his vibe. Like his fit is also a fire color set. Red and black is one of my favorite color combinations of all time. And yes, there are those people that are probably going to be like, but Hashirama wears the same thing. Yeah, technically he does, but he doesn't have the front guard like Madara. And also, he don't got the vibe like Madara. Like, Madara's vibe brings the whole outfit together. Then you also got Madara with his Goombai fan. And that shit right there looks mad sick, especially when he's in motion with it. But Madara's red and black shinobi armor isn't his only fit. He also has his Sage of Six Pass transformation, which looks sick with a white robe, the white hair, the white crown, the true single arms, and the staff, like that combination right there looks dumb fire. Especially when it's in motion. And a Madara, like this doesn't necessarily count, but Madara Susano, that shit also looks dumb fire. Like I think Madara Susano has one of the best combinations of outfits out of all the Susanos. Even, you know, Sasuke's full Susano. But that's just my opinion. While editing, I noticed I left something out. The only exception to this rule is Armored Kurama. Armored Kurama is on a whole nother level. Like Madara Susano cannot touch it, hands down. But that's the only exception. Next up, we got Jotaro from Jojo's Bizarre Adventure and his fit looks fire from head to toe, especially because it's an all black and all black is one of my favorite combinations of clothes. And can we really just talk about how his hair defies logic? Like his hair is also part of the hat's aesthetic which is mad funny, but also looks mad sick. Then his jacket is also one of those type of outfit pieces that I think I would want to wear, but um, I don't really know. That giant ass chain on the other side looks a little crazy, but I think I would try it out. But then you got this man wearing two belts. You never ever gonna catch him sagging. Like it's damn near impossible. The next person on the list, you know for a fact looks dumb fire and you can't argue with it. Like, I don't care what you have to say. Like, you can't argue with this. Goku Black's fit, even though it looks basic, looks dumb fire. Like I said, dark colors and his combination with the, the dark gray, the black, and that red sash as a belt looks dumb sick. And then he also has the ring, and I love rings. Rings bring everything together. Like, if you wear a ring, especially a nice ass ring, that could bring your whole outfit together. Jewelry is definitely a really good point. And him wearing the Tara earring with the time ring, that shit looks dumb fire. With the white boots, yo, my son is drippy. But then they don't even get me started because it doesn't stop there. If he goes rose with that pink hair, 
the whole outfit just changes and transcends to a whole nother level. So my guy Goku Black has got it. One of the most fire but basic anime fits of all time, hands down. Next we got one of the original OGs in anime and animation history to be consistently changing his fits and still make most of them look fire. We got Old. Killua from Hunter. Like, we started out with him wearing his regular little white shirt, his blue turtleneck, gray shorts. But then that was just the beginning because he opened our eyes to way more outfits than that. Because we're used to seeing the anime characters wear the same exact fit over and over and over. But Killua was like, nah, let's not do that. Let's 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 change it up. Even as a little kid, he had drip. He had this little mint little sweater on with his little turtleneck. Shit looks dumb fire. Then we got one of my favorite fits. The black fit that he has with the little white straps. I call that shit the spider fit. Cause they look like little spider webs. With the backpack, that fit makes no sense. Like I think it defies logic. I'm not gonna lie. I don't even know how the straps is on there, but it doesn't matter. That shit looks dumb fire. I would probably try to wear it. I doubt it would look cool in real life, but I don't know. That shit is, it looks fire on him. Then we got my son in his little casual fit, his little orange shirt green pants and he got a whole bunch of other fits and my guy got a suit and he pulls the suit off dumb fire like killer was literally got a fit for almost every single occasion you could throw at him and he'll kill it he'll dead kill it so can we just take a moment and really admire all the fits that killer was really brought to us and showed us the anime characters should probably change up their fits every once in a while just a little bit like he kills it all. He's got an outfit for literally everything. Overall, my son Killua really got the drip. Next we got CC, our first shorty on the list from Ko Gias. And the first time we ever see her, she's wearing this white and black jumpsuit. And that shit looks dumb fire because it's loose, but also tight. And I'm not gonna lie, the ends and the sleeves of her jumpsuit look just like Yvelta's tail from Pokemon. That shit is mad funny. But overall, that fit is dumb fire. I think the green hair also pulls it together. I don't know, it's a little contrast or whatever. This is also something I would love to see my girlfriend in. I don't know why, but you know, she would kill it. Then you also got her black fit that she wears when she's with Lelouch. That black knight fit looks fire with the loose ass little black straps and then high waisted ass boots. That shit looks mad fire. Like, honestly, another fit, I'd probably tell my girlfriend, yo, try this out. Now we got my girl Winry from Fullmetal Alchemist Brotherhood. And nah, we're not jacking the other one. Please, no, 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 no! I'm not gonna lie, Fullmetal Alchemist, the regular one, is uh, nah, no bueno, basura. But back to the point. Winry has some of the most basic yet effective anime fits especially for a shorty like she's not doing too much like she's not showing nothing no too crazy but the fits that she puts together look dumb fire like especially her white and black top then she got the little overalls or whatever and she has the green bandana like that whole fit is mad basic but it's dumb calm like it looks fire then you know she got her little regular fit that she'd be wearing all the time when she's in town or whatever she has the leather jacket the white shirt the little skirt and the little military looking boots then you know she got other fits here and there, but overall her fits calm, but fire. The next person we got is a classic anime character that I know for sure. When you first seen him, you was like, damn, that motherfucker right there is cool as hell. And you definitely want to wear his outfit. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's my guy Trunks from Dragon Ball. Like, his whole fit is dumb fire. From his little tiny jacket. Yes, the little tiny jacket is a little different. I'm not gonna lie, I've tried on a little jacket one time. That shit was looking fire. So I definitely know his fit would look dumb fire. With his purple jacket, the black pants, and his boots. Like, his whole fit is together. And he got a sword. Like, you have a calm ass fit that you could wear in real life. And you got a sword. Like, that's badass as fuck. I don't think you could really kill it. Like, my son Trunks got it. Then when you go to the future, he ditches his little jacket 
for a little regular size jacket or whatever and then he got a little red scarf even in the future in dbs he still has a calm ass fit plus when you take off the jacket he just got the little undershirt on that shit looks dumb fire as well like trunks has an outfit that he can wear mad different transformations and it still looks fire but trunks and other dragon ball characters have some of my favorite pants that are drawn like because they look baggy but they're also not baggy i definitely would want to try those out but i'm more of a skinny jeans kind of guy so i don't know if it would look good on me or i would even like it but i definitely would probably try it out just to see how it is i don't know if they got those in real life but i definitely would try to probably find somebody so i could wear them just to try them out and now we're breaking our video for today's sponsor <laughs> psych i don't have a sponsor yet like i'm not at that level yet but best believe if i did i would only advertise stuff that i would personally use or play but let's get back to it next we have a true badass <laughs> fit she, she's not really wearing much. She just got a black shirt with some short shorts and military boots. But for her, her vibe, like it just fits her so well. And how she wears it just makes it look badass as hell. So she has to be on the list for being dumb drippy. Like she just makes the little of what she has look dumb fire. I mean, she also has different fits here and there where she has like a little black fit. But overall, this is her go-to, and you cannot forget about her two dual-wielded Beretta Cutlass. Those guns, they bring the outfit together. But overall, her shit is dumb fire. Plus, she also has tattoos, which is a little something that we don't always see, and I love tattoos, so she gets bonus points. There ain't really a rating system to this, but if there was, she got bonus points. Next up, we got Ed from Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood one of my favorite animes i think i said that before but that's all we're gonna let you know again ed's fit is dumb fire like his red jacket is definitely a piece that i would want to wear but also have as a collector's item obviously i'm not gonna be wearing it every day but that shit looks fire definitely a piece i would want to wear then his jacket that he wears under that red jacket looks dumb fire especially when it's unzipped like it just looks mad cool like that's something i definitely would want to wear but overall, his fit is dumb fire. Like, I don't know about me wearing leather pants, even though I'm a skinny jeans kind of guy, but I definitely would try his fit on. But overall, I think I would wear his outfit. Like, it's fully blacked out, which fits my criteria for best outfits. And all I would have to do is just switch out the leather pants, put regular black pants, and I think I could rock that. And if you made it all the way here to the end, you should know who I have to put on this list, especially if you watch my video on who is my favorite Shadow House character. And if you did, you know it's my guy, John. My guy, John, is straight out of royalty, which in real life is straight trash, like the royal family, Basura, but John's from anime and he's John, so he gets a pass. John obviously has this royal attire type aesthetic, but for me, I think out of all the guys in the show, John has definitely one of the best fits. Plus that blue that he has is damn near the same color as my Crocs, if not the same exact color. So I already like it off of that. But overall, I think his outfit is just so well put together. And just for the last, I think I would want to put on John's outfit just to try it on. John also gets bonus points if this was even ranked in points, just because he's cool as shit like yes everybody on this list is cool as hell but i don't know john is just he just transcends he just transcends he's one of my favorite characters so hands down john got it so with all that if you made it to the end of the video drop a like and subscribe if you like the content from all the stuff and all the people on this list i hope you've learned that if you have a cool vibe cool demeanor and you wear clothes that are just well put together you got drip you're drippy you can have heat all you have to do is just be chill, have nice outfits that are put together well, and you, you're you going to be on your way. If you have any other suggestions for people you think are drippy or have fire outfits, let me know by dropping a comment because I read all of them. And if you have any questions or manga or anime recommendations, let me know in the comment section. I'll catch you in the next video. Deuces!